to look at this River Yala story, right? And uh, of course, the conversation is around, is this extrajudicial killings? Uh, should we be wary as Kenyans? Mm. I mean, if I woke up and uh, where I come from, there's a river that mm. flows there, mm. River mm. Lusumu. I'm mm. just trying to imagine I wake up one morning and, you know, you're just finding a body. Bro, we are moving. We are moving. We're selling that shampoo and we're moving houses. Nothing to do with that area. Isn't that a strange thing to find? It's strange. Last week yeah. when we spoke about Yala River, mm. I remember on MVP report, someone called us and said, yo, this also happens in Kisumu since yeah. I've been a child. Yeah, those so, sides of a hero. Mm. Yeah. So I wanted to get to the bottom of this. But now we, we have to wheel it back to the beginning of this story. The person who started all this, the person who let Kenyans know, the person who let Boni know to break the story, his name is Joel Barika. Gentlemen, I want you to uh, listen to what Joel Barika has to say. Joel, good morning. Good morning. Habari ya subui? Niko salama kabisa. Sayi uko area gani tukia utukuzi mbuza nawe? Niko kericho. Yep. All right. So, Joel, uh, uko katika Vibes Radio. Tunatika wambi wa Kenya. Haswa wewe, Joel, unafanya kazi gani? I'm uh, an activist. Mm -hmm. And you're based uh, in Kericho? I'm based in Kericho. Okay. So, Joel, how did you end up being the person that broke this news on Yala River? I've uh, been doing my research. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I began from... Um, uh, 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 some information I had uh, that uh, Yala River is having some uh, bodies dropped there. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, it's a disposal point. So mm -hmm. I began it uh, last year, uh, October. Mm -hmm. I started visiting the scene. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Went through the mortuary. Yes. Around, and then I realized that uh, it looks like it's true. So that is when I, I did my thread on of last month. So Joel, ebu ni kulize. Una sema kwanza last year, when you ulipate report, yeah. ukendo kwa October, ukanza ku ulise ma ulienda kwa motoris kwanza ama kwa yo river. Ni mwenda kwa river. I come from Vega. Yeah. And uh, I'm aware of the terrain of the, the river. Mm -hmm. So I walk along the river yeah. uh, between October and uh, December mm -hmm. from where it starts at uh, Nandi Hill yeah. to uh, around the uh, Bondo. Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, we are looking at uh, the exact point of uh, dropping. Mm -hmm. I was trying to approximate how many bodies we will be talking about yeah. uh, and why. Mm -hmm. Now, you said, yeah. you said um, okay, so th the length of this river is, I'm sure, massive, right? So you're saying from Nandi Hills all the way to Bondo, you are looking at entry points. What does entry points mean? Does it, is it that this uh, someone can't just dump the, know, the body you know, any part? If you come from Yala, mm -hmm. it's not news uh, to, to, to think of a body inside those waters. Wow. Why is that? What do you mean? Yani, kuna, kuna, wa, ah, wana, kuna mutu anajua huko, kuna mili hapo ndani. Oh. Actually, no one is talking about it yeah. because uh, I don't know if it is too normal or, or something. So what 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 do you mean is wamekuwa uh, kijua hii mambo from Kitambo? Yaani watu watu wamezoea. Watu wamezoea kuna mili huko ndani. Now Joel, yeah. as someone who knows this river and the terrain you said and uh, being an yeah. advocate the po the yeah. police said that they are going to man the river so that, you know, to avoid people dumping bodies there. Is, does that sound yeah, like a feasible solution? You and I are aware of the fact that uh, the, the police cannot man a river. Yeah. Yeah. So that is an, uh, an escape. Another, another question I have for you is, are there complaints? How are to Raya in Asia, I mean, the residents, do they complain and nothing happens? What about the county government? I mean, is you know, there any action plan? Unajua hii ni Kenya. Yeah. 
Hiyo na maanisha nini? So we are <laughs> Yaani we we have been uh, as in we are uh, uh, they, they tell you what they want you to do. Actually you do not initiate because at one point uh, I went to the mob. Yeah. And I was told uh, you cannot access the mob because at ja, is it you Japan or something of the sort? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and it's like uh, they, they, I can only see what they want me to see. And that's interesting. So, wh- what about the family members of some of these uh, people who've been killed? These yeah. bodies. Do people come to River Yala, Ama uh, uh, to try and claim the bodies, try and identify the bodies? Uki uh, Yala. Uh, yeah. You are resident of Yala. Yeah. The bodies that come from the residents are probably of uh, suicide nature. Mm-hmm. Suicide. Ama mutu alisipi wa kanguka. Yeah. But the ones I am talking about. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Are, are, are these uh, foreigners? Yani hawa tuwe netunayona, I'm quoting that. Wametoka kaunti zingine, they're not from Yala. Yeah, they're not from Yala. All right. And um, yeah. and um, just to give Kenyans an understanding, Joe, when you went to the yeah. mortuary, how many of yeah. these not people from there were in the mortuary? Yeah. People from there. The bodies that were, were not from the area. You know, the... Who was in Azikwa, were Nazika every time now and then. Yeah. The, all the unknown who were Nazikwa. Actually... On 9th of uh, December, yeah. there was that kind of burial. Like a mass grave. Is Omwili is not too potent, Dani? Yeah. Actually, I didn't have uh, the access to that. Eh? Yeah. But that is what I know. Okay. Is there any post, uh, po- what do you call it? After post-mortem. Post-mortem that is done on these bodies to identify who they are, how they died. No, I tried to push the post-mortem. No, 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 no. Actually, my interest in the, in the all this was there is no unknown Kenyan. What? So I was. Yeah. There is no unknown, unknown Kenyan. Kenyan. Wow. Yeah. Everybody is known. I yes. think if you are given a name when you are born, uh, true, uh, uh, true. where along the way did that name go? Exactly. But that's why I was asking you, my brother. Do Kenyans yeah. from other counties, for example, what are the family members who have, they have disappeared? Do they go to the Yala Mochari to try and identify these bodies? Have you seen uh, uh, Kenyans trickling See, into Yala? No, 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 no. People are not going there because no one knows. Okay. And they don't have to blame. I, I wanted to look at the, my thread there. I just did it at night. Eh? Yeah, yeah. It, it is explaining this now. Oh. Uh, I did a thread at night. Eh? Today yeah. I pinned it on my adult. Mm. It is uh, explaining all this. As in, you know, you are traveling from uh, Nairobi to Bukia, for example. Uh-huh. Uh, and then you have an accident in uh, Ahero. Yeah. Uh, you die. Mm. Uh, uh, you lose your document. Yeah. Then you are taken to Ahero. Uh, Sorry, more girl. Yeah, when, as in, our what our Jewish in Hako, our Jewish, where you come from, mm. you mean? Mm. and uh, they, they just say after three, uh, after three months, or I don't know, Yeah, 90 days, three months. What a mm. uh, Your family is looking at you from Nairobi. Mm. So no one will choose to think about uh, an error. True, because true. Yeah. All right. So I was, uh, my, my interest was, keep these people until you identify them. Yeah. Because they are not unknown. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Joe, they are not unknown. Why won't you Japan kazi yako kutafuta wenyewe? Kweli, kweli. Joel, finally, for yeah. someone who, just to make this very clear, for someone who's been on the ground, um, yeah. because there's this word extrajudicial which is being thrown around, right? And uh, yeah. for you, you've, you've seen some of these bodies, right? Yeah. What is the state? Most of them. Yes. We, uh, you've said that there are those ones who sleep, they fall. There are those ones who commit suicide. But the ones yeah. we are talking about, in what state are these yeah. bodies found? Yeah. Um, if you ask me, mm-hmm. uh, I, do, I, I don't think they are killed. Uh, they are killed by one person. 
because utaona kuna mtu mwingine ani evidence of torture maybe mm. amechungwa tungwa ulimi mm. e, mwingine utaona ame ribs mm. zime yeah so you that but there is a design uh-huh. that shows that uh, either they were killed by one person yeah mm-hmm. Or they were disposed by one person. Because the, the similar... You know, if, 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 if ten bodies are packaged in the same bag, mm-hmm. it's true. in the same color of the bag, yeah. you realize that uh, there is some similarity. Yeah, exactly. As in, as well as the same. Yeah. It's true. And finally, so, Joe, between October, yeah. when you started these investigations, to now January, how many bodies have you seen? Many. Many. Male or female? Yeah, many. Yeah, many. And I think, uh, uh, not I think, I know, mm-hmm. bodies are in Rivayala. So you're saying there are more you bodies know, in there? There are more bodies in there. Joel, are I'm they male or female? Is it mostly men or women? Men. I mean, women are just, uh, maybe, I saw one or two. Okay. Wow. But they're men. Age group? Can you be able to tell the age? Yeah, that uh, early 30s. Early 30s. All right, Joel, thank uh, you so much. We thanks, will, thanks, we Joel. We will be in touch. Remember, you on Morning Vibes. Joel Barika was the first person to break the story of Yala Bodies, and you've just heard from him. Rebels and reggae heads, start your day the MVP way. Where you are the MVP. No negative vibes.